அவர் இந்த தேர்தலில் நாங்கள் அவரை நின்று வெற்றி பெற செய்தால் ஈழ தமிழர்களுக்கு மாத்திரமல்ல மத்திய சமூக தமிழர்களுக்கும் மத்திய சமூக மத்திய சமூகத்தவர்களுக்கும் இவ்வாறு பல லாபங்கள் இருக்கின்றன வேலை திட்டங்கள் எமது நாட்டு கேனடா நாட்டுக்கும் மத்திய நாடுகள் இந்தியாவா இருக்கட்டும் மொரிஷியஸா இருக்கட்டும் இல்ல சைனாவா இருக்க இந்த நாடா இருக்கட்டும் அவர்களுக்கும் கேனடாவுக்கும் இடையிலான ஒரு பாலமாக கட்டமாக இருப்பார்கள் மற்றது வந்து எமக்கும் இந்தியாவுக்கும் வந்து கணக்க விடயங்கள் இருக்கின்றன ஈழ தமிழர்களை பொறுத்தவரை ஈழ தமிழர்களாக நாங்கள் இந்தியாவை தான் நாங்கள் நம்பிக்கொண்டிருக்கின்றோம் ஆனால் இந்தியாவுடன் சில விஷயங்களை பற்றி நாம் பேசுவதற்கோ இல்லை போய் நிறைய சந்தி சில விஷயங்களை செய்வதற்கு அதுக்கான சரியான ஆக்கள் இருக்க வேண்டும் ஆனால் அந்த சரியான ஆள் என்று சொல்லி நான் பார்த்த அளவுக்கு இவருக்கு அங்கே இந்திய அரசியல் மாத்திரம் இல்ல இவர் இலங்கையிலும் வந்து சில வேறு திட்டங்கள் செய்வதற்கான வசதிகள் இருக்கின்றன ஏன்னா ஜேசன் கைவுடன் மூன்று வருடங்கள் ரெண்டாயிரத்தி ஒன்பது இல்லை பத்தாம் ஆண்டு ஜேசன் கைவுடன் இவர் சென்றிருந்தார் இலங்கைக்கு அந்த சென்று வந்தவுடன் பல விடம் பல அரசியல்வாதிகளுடனும் எமது ஈழ பிரச்சனை பற்றியும் சில விஷயம் சாதித்திருக்கிறார் அங்கு சிறாக இருக்கின்றனர் இவங்க இந்த படங்களை பார்த்தீர்கள் எமது வடக்கு கிழக்கில் சிறாக்களுக்கும் இவருக்கும் இருக்க தொடர்பு என்ன செய்திருக்கின்றார்கள் என்று சொல்லி சில படங்கள் அங்கே வேலைத்திருக்கின்றன படங்கள் அப்போ அப்படியான வேலை திட்டங்கள் செய்வதற்கு எங்களால் முடியாது யாருக்கு முடியும் என்றால் சில விடயங்கள் யாருக்கும் தொடர்பு இருக்கணும் அவர்களால் தான் செய்ய முடியும் அப்படிப்பட்ட வேலை திட்டங்கள் நாங்கள் இந்திய அரசு ஊடாகவும் செய்ய வேண்டும் அந்த இந்திய அரசு ஊடாக செய்ய வேண்டும் என்றாலும் எங்களுக்கு தேவையான சில சில உறவுகள் இருக்க வேண்டும் தமிழ்நாட்டை பொறுத்தவரை மாத்திரம் இல்ல வேறு மாநிலங்களோடும் மாநிலம் கேரியட்டுக்கு சில சில உறவுகள் இருக்கின்றனர் அங்கே இருக்க அரசியல்வாதிகளோட பல நட்புறவு இருக்கின்றனர் அதுகளை நாங்கள் பாதிக்க வேண்டும் நாங்கள் சரியான ஆட்களை சரியான பாதிக்காவிட்டால் எமக்கு ஒன்றுமே நடக்க போறது இல்லை அப்ப அப்படியான விடயங்கள் மாத்திரம் இல்ல கேனடா பொறுத்த வரையில் எமக்கு ஒரு கம்யூனிட்டி சென்டர் ஒன்றும் தேவை ஆனால் இது விடயமாகவும் நான் பல முறை அவரை கலைத்திருக்கின்றேன் அவரும் வந்து தான் இதில் இதென்றால் பல விடயங்களை செய்து தருவதாகவும் சொல்லியிருக்கின்றார்கள் அப்ப கேரளாவில் வந்து எமக்கு தேவை என்னவென்றால் எமது அடுத்த சந்ததி எமது போராட்டம் எமது போராட்டம் உருவாக்கம் இருக்கட்டும் அதை பார்ப்பதற்கு பல அமைப்புகள் இருக்கின்றன அதே நேரத்தில் கேரளாவில் எமது அடுத்த சந்ததியினர் அவர்களையும் நாங்கள் பார்க்க வேண்டும் முற்றி முழுதாக வந்து நாங்கள் எமது பிரச்சனை முடியும்னு சொல்லியிருந்தால் மற்றதை மற்றவரை பார்க்க முடியாது அவர்களையும் நாங்கள் வந்து அரசியல் முக்கியமாக வந்து இங்கே நாம் அரசியல் வேலை திட்டங்கள் செய்ய வேண்டுமா இருந்தால் எமது அடுத்த சந்தையினர் நாங்கள் அரசியலுக்கு கொண்டு வர வேண்டும் என்னை பொறுத்தவரை நாங்கள் இங்கே யூனிவர்சிட்டி முடித்தவர்கள் அரசியலுக்கு வாரது இல்லை ஏன்னா அரசியல் வந்து ஒரு ஒத்து வராத விஷயம்னு சொல்லி எல்லாம் ஓடி விடுவார்கள் பயந்து ஏன்னா நாங்கள் வாழ்ந்த நாட்டில் அரசியல் வந்து வித்தியாசம் ஆனால் எமது அடுத்த சந்தேகம் இது என்பதற்கு அரசியலுக்கு ஆக்களை கொண்டு வர வேண்டும் அதுக்காகவும் சரியான ஒரு நகர்கள் இருக்க வேண்டும் அதில் இப்போ அதுக்காகவும் நான் வந்து மாலை கிடையாது அந்த அப்படியான தகுதிகள் இருக்கின்றன அடுத்த சந்ததியினருடன் நேரடியாக பேசி நேரடியாக அவரை வழி நடத்தி செல்லக்கூடிய சில விடயங்கள் இருக்கின்றன அப்போ இப்படிப்பட்ட பல விடயங்கள் இருக்கின்றன இதாக தான் நான் மாலை கரியோட்டை வந்து என்கோஸ் பண்ணுகின்றேன் மார்க்கன் டோன் ஹெலுக்கு இவர் சரியான ஒரு நண்பர்கள் உறவினர்கள் ஆயர்களை கொண்டு தயவு செய்து இவர்களை நொமினேஷனுக்கு மெம்பர்ஷிப்பை பதிந்து இவருக்கு வாக்களித்து உங்களுக்கு ஏதாவது கேள்விகள் இருக்கலாம் பல ஆயிரம் கேள்விகள் இருக்கலாம் பல பேருக்கு நேரடியாக நீங்க தொடர்பு கொண்டு நீங்க கலைக்கலாம் நாம அரசியலுக்கு வந்து விட்டால் அவர்கள் நீங்க கேட்கும் கேள்விகளுக்கு மகளிர் சொல்லத்தான் வேணும் இப்ப பல கேள்விகள் இருக்கின்றன ஓகே நீங்க வந்து ஐந்தருக்கு என்ன செய்வீர்கள் எளிதை செய்வ ஒன்று இல்லை உதாரணத்துக்கு நாங்கள் எங்களுக்கு ராதிகா இருக்கின்றார்கள் ஆனால் நான் இப்போ பெருமைப்படுகின்றேன் யாருக்கெல்லாம் சொல்வேன் ராதிகா எங்களுக்கு மெம்பர் ஆஃப் பார்லிமெண்ட் இருக்கிறாங்க அப்படி நாம் பெருமைப்பட வேண்டிய விஷயமே தவிர எனக்கு இவ போதாலும் எனக்கு லாபம் சொல்லி கேட்பவர்கள் கனி பல இருக்கின்றனர் அப்படியான கேள்விகள் அதில் அவசியம் மற்ற ஒரு கேள்விகள் ஆனால் நம்ம வந்து நாங்கள் இங்கே கொண்டு வர நான் தனியாக தமிழாக்கல அரசுக்கு வர வேண்டும் சொல்லி இல்லை சிறுபான்மையினர் இங்கே கேரளாவுக்கு வந்திருக்கிற சிறுபான்மையினர் அனைவரும் அரசியலுக்கு வர வேண்டும் வந்தால்தான் அவர்கள் தங்கள் பேர பிள்ளைகள் பேர பிள்ளைகளை இங்கு ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு இது கொண்டுடலாம் வேறு சமயம் எடுக்க மாட்டார்கள் நான் தற்போது இப்போ எனது பேச்சு நான் நாங்கள் சொல்லிக்கொண்டு லோகேந்திரம் லோகேந்திரலிங்க மன்னாவை முறை கலைக்கின்றேன் நன்றி வணக்கம் Thank you, Balan.
Good evening, everyone. Well, most of you know that I am a media person, running a monthly newspaper and a weekly. Uh, Merlin has been a very good friend of mine for many years before he got into politics. Uh, according to my experience, you can reach any time. You can call any time, she will come to the place where we are, whenever she, we need her, you know. Those kind of uh, all positive uh, attitudes, uh, helpful mind, supportive uh, behavior, uh, are the mm, good things with uh, early my friend. Uh, as I said, uh, I'm a media person. When I get uh, invitation from Prime Minister's office, I go there. When I get uh, invitation from um, Justin Trudeau's office, I go and attend. But not because of the party. As a good person, as Marlon mentioned here, uh, I will be there. I heard uh, some of my friends also running in the same riding. But uh, I'll be with you, don't worry. And my, uh, you can use my newspaper for free for your propaganda. <laughs> So I came a little late, 10 minutes with my friend. So uh, we'll uh, walk on, you know, from, we'll start from here. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Arya Ratna. Really, I was not involved with the politics for a long time. First I met Marilyn Kalawe and the saw the Selva's office, campaign office opening ceremony day. So I met her, I know the first day I met her and she spoke with me very nicely. Then after he said I went to home and she, uh, I gave my name and so he was a welcome sorry. And so I went to home and I received a bio data from her. So I read everything fully. After that uh, I was surprised such a wonderful lady was with us. And she has done, devoted her life to our community, especially for the Sri Lankan community. She has devoted for her life. That's what I, I was wondered and I surprised and I informed. I talked with my friends and I, as well as other community people also. So such a wonderful lady. She speaks our language, Tamil language, very nicely and fluently. And she has been to Sri Lanka everywhere personally. She has visited this. Uh, open eight places and she has taken custody of so many students and they are, she is doing lots of work. Because after I came here also I watched these photos. And so really, you be, we people must understand that this only the students, we have problems. Everybody says that we have problems and every world knows. And the another community representative must be take our difficulties to the other community. So then only we can win the race. We can solve our problems. When we tell, oh, we are having this problem, and nobody won't listen. So another community representative taking our difficulties to other people, so everybody will realize, oh, what some, some sort of problems are with these families. So then we have to do something. So this is the only way we can solve our problems. So Marilyn Kalev is the wonderful lady at the same time. She is the correct and taking good decision. And she is always with us, our Sri Lankan people. So I, we all must support her to become as a candidate in our electorate, but it's, uh, I don't know the electorate you are going to, going to contest. Welcome <laughs> to Okay. So, please, I am requesting everybody, we will support Marvin Kalyo. Thank you very much for his chance to give to me for this speech. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul, and uh, pleasure to be here at Marlene's. Uh, it's not the nomination event, right? 
I, because I saw the sign now. Nate. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't be part of the team because I could see uh, all the the grassroots supporters for Mali. We could speak in Tamil because uh, everybody is Tamil. Tamil is with us. Tamil is with us. Mali is with Tamil. Tamil is with Mali. But like Arya. Ten points. So, but my lady, Mali and the the basic grassroots people are there. Everybody. I know only Joseph. Joseph, uh, <laughs> you understand Tamil. I, I, don't worry, Joseph understands all the language. He doesn't understand English. He understands every other language. He's a Tamil Korean. I know Joseph is Korean. He's a Tamil Korean. Yes, yes. He's a Tamil Korean. Korean. So, Korean. And even today, you know, Pangavir Lidhi and I came out here and there. All the reason, the key one reason was Maring Galiye and Mundi were put at the Sulli Gandhi, Karan the Tezal left. And Mia Villa went here, a lady, Tezal Vithya Swana Padilla Ponada, that's a lady. That's a lady. That's okay. That's okay. Or a lady went like that. But Mia, at the time, Mia Mali, it was Mali's turn, supposed to win, but it happened. So, but anyway, but the Definitely, you will be the MP for markup. Otherwise, I will give you a very good idea. Mali, not only um, Tendibidia, Mali, Mandi, like Kanala Matiri, was a conservative person, but Mali, the community involvement, the knowledge, the skills. Now, I get the knowledge, RSEL, Tahame, and the other one, the Mali, and the Rio. Orang pelajar ini adalah teori mahu dan orang ini kerana itu mengandung beri beri ajar. So she will be the best MP for Malaysia. So only that. I want to thank Mali for giving full support to my friend Sol. Is going to be the ward seven councillor in another twenty days. So Mali has given our full support to our country. Kerana anda bagi lawak, anda beri kuri, anda bagi all of you, yourself, and all and everyone. And thank you all for joining here. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Actually, it's a good friend of mine, but we haven't uh, met each other for a long time. Few, uh, maybe close, close friend. Yes. And he's also running for Ward 7 Councillor. And make sure that you guys vote for him and tell your neighbors, friends, and uh, your family members for vote him and make him as a Counselor, and we wish you the best. Thank you. He's already a counselor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Pali, what's the name of the Lord? Yeah, it's the Lord's name. The Lord's name is the Lord's name. The Lord's name is the Lord's name. The Lord's name is the Lord's name. What do you think? 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 Tolong tu, malam Hindu dia election ni, apa ada, anda kena sinci juga orang tu, campaign office ni, nelayan tengah mandir tu, nelayan alat seni alat mandir kita, abe, abe dia inna ni yang lain. Mundur ke tapi itu tadi. Anda sana bodoh, sana Madri. Nah, kerana dah malam otow agak agak hari ke pertama tu. Lepas ni ni lah, ni putih kan dua boy itu dah. Ada malam. Agak edit kan tu, ada semua orang kan tu. Sorry, sorry orang tu, sorry orang tu, sorry orang tu, sorry orang tu. Orang lain macam ni, 
Why the club would have under the end of the day? Then I put you on the land, look at the end. Our Soviet or counselor, I park a vendor, and the other people Hello. <laughs> Hi, yes. Hello. Are we still here or we are somewhere else? Within a couple of weeks' notice or three weeks' notice. So then she's going to contact. Uh, uh, in the beginning, this is the first time she has to win. And I have 100%, there's no doubt that she's going to make it. Because after that, when she will be the member of parliament, she will have more responsibility. If somebody needs to find out about the passport, if somebody needs to find out why the child is born and still they are waiting for the birth certificate. All these small things are going to be number one. If you go to uh, some time to Saga MP and tell them that this is my problem, they will say, see Marlene is your member of parliament, go and ask her because she is that right. So for that one I think the process is that we have to get more uh, people get into the party and get it signed. And the numbers are there to win. So, Mali, all the best. And I am, uh, my target is on 27, which is not too far. And time goes. Every next week, if we count today's date, and next week, same day on the, uh, what is today? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday I think. Sunday. Tomorrow Sunday. is Monday. Right? So, time flies. Tell your friend that. 27 is the voting day, but they have advanced poll. They can keep in mind, if they cannot go to the poll, they can sit at home and do it online. This is one, two, three. But this is all number game. And I need support for the region, which is a big area. And I am standing first for the seniors, that they help us to unite the family and how to raise the family. Because back home we have a joint family system. Here we don't have a joint family, we have the seniors, then we have the youth. But at this time, today, we are talking to Marilyn, all the best to you. Good luck. So good evening everybody. Um, first one, though uh, political science is my basic subject, I got associated with Marlin I think five years back. And uh, I think for one thing which I wanted to end up with Marlin, she's just such a wonderful human being. Not only that, I could see all the pictures where she has represented all the communities. I think she's traveled all around the world, she's very focused. And uh, I think she'll be also uh, really coordinate with us in case, as you rightly said, we have any issues to be dealt with the government and with all uh, levels of uh, the government hierarchy. I think she'll be the right person to represent us. And uh, only one thing is, I think we definitely have to make it focused and ensure that Marlon wins. And uh, whatever she has done for the community, she represents us also in a different arena and platform, whether it is in, in India or in Sri Lanka and other issues where we all live together and represent our uh, community as well. We need a strong person who is well versed and who has visited all the places. And, and this is amazing, Mullen, definitely. And I think you need to deserve this time. And, uh, yeah. and we also have to give a lot of publicity and we need to do a lot of campaigning also for her and ensure that she wins. And I definitely wanted to see you next time as the member of parliament. And we are very pompous and proud to endorse you for this part. Thank you so much for this. Good evening, everyone. Uh, 
my name is Gerard Rajendra. Uh, I'm a sports person. Like I love sports. I came to Canada only seven years. Then I like to promote the youth. That's what I do. Uh, then I met Marin recently, about three weeks ago, because we had our event uh, called Markham Mayor's Cup. Um, we are working with City of Markham to run the program uh, all over in GTA from Brampton, Mississauga, everywhere. The kids, all about kids, about 100 players participating in that event. And uh, I send the email to everyone, whoever in my league, because <coughs> most of the time, when it comes to the kids, it's so hard to get the support. Because uh, I was a teacher back home, I try so hard in back home to develop sports. <coughs> I have an international license for cricket, basketball, everything, but here is so hard. Uh, especially I approach most of the politicians here. But um, some of them, yes, help help us and help our kids to promote that uh, game and uh, cricket is a very good game uh, especially if we want to promote in Canada but um, Marlin approached me she asked me when is our event then I said it's on uh, we had it on end of August and she came there and uh, she that's the only reason I'm here because uh, she respects those youngsters. Because otherwise, um, I, I, know, I know her face always because last uh, last election he runs in uh, Rouge River, I think. I know her face uh, when I am seeing and I am very familiar with that name, Gallior. And But personally, I don't know her. Then um, Shana mentioned me, uh, can you please support Mali? Then I, he is like my brother, like we study together. Then that's why I am here because I said, Mali, only reason I am here, you respect our kids, the youngsters. Because wherever we go, anywhere in the world, those kids are the future. We are almost, our half of the lifestyle is gone. <laughs> now we have, to, we have to promote those youngsters. Then, then I said to her, Whoever supporting our kids, I'm willing to support them. I don't mind bringing 100 or 200 kids because we already have like 100, 150 kids in our academy. They are participating in the, all the Canadian region and stuff. Then I said, if you're willing to support our kids, I'll definitely come and support you. That's why I'm here you know, to support that good heart. Thank you. I know Marlene for a long time. Now, uh, the last election also, I was working with Marlene in the Roots River. And this time, uh, I will have <coughs> support for Marlene. And because uh, uh, we were doing a tsunami, that was 2005, when she brought the Prime Minister to the, our event. So, she helped us a uh, lot in the, those days when we needed. And you'll see it's in the YouTube now. The video is already out. The Prime Minister's visit. You can see that those things. And the same thing uh, again in India. She has a political connection because last year I was in India. I seen uh, what's Marlin's colors are and who's connected with the including the CM's side. And I hope uh, she will, will get nominated this time with the PC party and she will probably be the MP. <coughs> she will be work with uh, all the world. Thank you. Thank you. I have a problem that every time she used to tell me that don't bring up everything what I did. Because <laughs> I'm not going to do, I, I'm, going to, I'm not going to bring that to get more support from the community. So I used to ask her why, because if you tell the people what you have done, see for example, Sylvester uh, just brought up one thing, that he brought Mr. Harper for the tsunami time. So that was the biggest <coughs> thing, that, uh, thing that he had done. Not only that, that, that I know of, he had done a lot, a lot, but I don't know why she don't want to bring that into public, and uh, every time I ask her, she says only one thing, 
No, I don't want to get a vote or bring members telling who what I did. But I used to tell them that back, if you don't tell to our community what you have done so far, they don't know you. Yeah. And they are, they, are not yeah. going, they are not going to come and vote for you. But she said they have to know, in a way, a, a word of mouth. I do agree on that as well. She has to bring up on the what, things what she has done to our community. I have, I just brought some uh, um, a few clips here that I don't know whether Martin will like it or not, but I had to play it with you, uh, play that after uh, Nathan speaks up. And uh, I'd like to uh, call upon Sir Nathan to say a few words. <coughs> Thank you, everyone. I just came to, uh, here to say to the people and he asked me to talk sir, about Mali. I can talk all, all day, all evening. <laughs> uh, we had a good time last general election, 2010. And uh, uh, the only part, I think less than one month we uh, canvassed, whereas the, uh, the NDP candidate were canvassing whole year. <laughs> but still at the end of the, uh, of the election, she lost purely 5,000 votes. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't have a time to canvas, uh, I mean, campaign the whole area, but but we uh, did our best. And uh, and because of Marlene, uh, she asked me to uh, come to the conservative uh, AGM, Scarborough Group. I went, I went there uh, to, uh, to see what's going on. They made me as a member, <laughs> member of the board. Then after the board meeting, I, Marlene knows, uh, she was she was on the board of uh, Scarborough Group Conservative Party. And uh, uh, my problem is that I, 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 I can't stay, uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to go and just sit and watch what's happening. You've got to do something. So every board meeting, I said, what we're doing? We're eating uh, cookie and talking and that's all. So we had to bring up these other issues like immigration, uh, health. Uh, the people who come from uh, as a refugees, they have a problem uh, with the health issue that uh, I think now is resolved now. So then they made me as a president of the Scarborough Jew. Yeah. Then we worked hard and we met Prime Minister along uh, some of the time. Why I'm telling you is all, all this happened because of Mali. And um, Mali is a very good uh, candidate and he should be a good member of Parliament. <laughs> and he knows uh, uh, everyone's uh, problem. That's an amazing thing. And she is very approachable, uh, very uh, simple lady. So she looked like a <laughs> uh, film star, but you know, she's the uh, and uh, more than the film star. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and uh, I, I think we all should uh, help her to uh, get nominated and uh, eventually she will become a member of the parliament so she can serve the committee. Quick, very quick few words. I think everybody said enough already. Uh, first, I want to thank every one of you for coming today. I really appreciate all this uh, love and uh, effort you gave today. I know everyone has to go now, and I appreciate each and every one of you mean a lot to me. Every one of you, and especially Balan and uh, Nathan. They did not mention that they are both seeking the nomination for the next federal election. Uh, Mr. Nathan is seeking the election for Scarborough Rouge River, Scarborough Rouge Park, and uh, Mr. Balan for Scarborough Southwest. We have to really work hard first for Mr. Sodhi Teller because this is his election for October the 27th. Mr. Sodhi is one of the nicest, kindest men you'll ever see. If that man has so much of passion for people, imagine how much he will do when he goes into the uh, council. Because this council today needs people like that. They're, they're trans transparent council and someone who understands what the people need. And Mr. Surendra Saka Azar is also running for regional councillor. You know, it is very sad because people like them is fight so hard to get in council. I work with regional council Jim Jones. He's been there for many years. I know he's going to win again. But for the rest of the people to get inside is very hard. So I really want all of us, even if you don't live in the riding, just go out and help them to please win. And again, each, uh, thank you very much, sir. I know you have to go. But I just want to thank you all. 
You all already know my background. Like Nathan said, I'm a very simple person, coming from Tamil Nadu. Uh, Jen, I am speaking in English because it's fast for me, and Tamil one to best the kuchu kashtam for. So I want to make sure that you all get to know me because the nomination is number one. If I don't get the members, if the members don't come that day to vote for me, then I won't be the candidate. Yeah. And that's a pity because the last time we made a mistake, we didn't elect the right uh, representative. This time, please don't make the mistake. Please tell your friends, please do your membership and please come. Because I know once becoming the member of parliament, number one is a building, a center for the Tamil community. Yes. We need that. We need to address the issues of the seniors. We need to address the issues of immigration, for children, for jobs. You know, the Tamil community is very divided. I am very sad. There's too many people, too many groups. We need to become one. We need to, the same thing, we have the same issues. Why is it that we are so divided? We need to bring this community together. And I want to be that bridge for this community. When Mr. Natarajan came to my house, he's come to my house for 15 years. Every year he's come, but this is the first time in my house, all the different groups came there. Every single group right now that is in Canada visited Natarajan and they said, Ayar, don't worry, 100%, Kandipa, Kandipa, we will support Mali. Ayar, this Mali. But I'm not sure who's going to support me. But if they miss out, we're missing out a good candidate. And I want to be that bridge. We had many good immigration categories where we were able to bring families. We had stopped that. We had stopped that. And I spoke to the immigration minister. And I said, we had a category where families that have small businesses, they have to come help their families. That's how I brought my brother-in-law. That's how I was bringing my brother. We do not have that category. Immigration, I know we have made mistakes, big mistakes. And we need to fix that. If we do not get people like myself, who is not afraid to speak, who is not afraid to speak their mind, then we will not be able to get the right representation. I am not afraid. I went to Sri Lanka. Everybody knows I went to Sri Lanka. I told the government, we need an immigration office in Jaffna. It's very hard for the people from Jaffna to go to Colombo. And they said, why should we have an immigration office that's in Colombo? I said, for you to talk, it's easy. But for them, it's not. I came back, I spoke to the immigration minister, I said, we need an office. They said, we don't have the money. Okay, if you don't have the money, then do what they do in Tamil Nadu. Bring the office to Jaffna every month so that people can actually address the issues. So you don't spend money, you're just there. It's a mobile kind of an immigration office. So these are the small things that I want to fix. And really, it's very touching to see today on a Sunday, you all came to support me. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, and I hope I'll be your next member of Congress.